हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक गर्ग एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एंटेरोमीडियल अप्रोच टू डिस्टल टू थर्ड ऑफ द फ्यूमर दिस अप्रोच इज मेनली यूज फॉर ओपन रिडक्शन इंटरनल फिक्सेशन ऑफ डिस्टल फ्यूमोरल फ्रैक्चर्स यू कैन यूज दिस फॉर ऑस्टियोमाइलाइटिस डिब्राइडमेंट वी कैन यूज दिस फॉर टेकिंग अ बायोप्सी इन केसेज ऑफ बोन ट्यूमर फॉर क्वाड्रिस प्लास्टी और फॉर डिस्टल फ्यूमोरल ऑस्टियोटमी इन केसेज ऑफ जीनो वेरम वेर वी यूजली डू ओपन वेज ऑस्टियोटमी वी कैन यूज दिस अप्रोच सो इन दिस अप्रोच वी विल कीप द पेशेंट इन आ सुपाइन पोजिशन वी विल यूजली ड्रेप द होल लिम Uh, so that the limb will be free for the movements and then we will uh, mark the surgical landmarks after printing dripping our main surgical landmark in this approach is a vastus medialis muscle to palpate the vastus medialis muscle we will go on to the medial pole of the patella from the medial pole we will keep going upwards and palpating the structures and here uh, the fleshy muscle we will palp- we will be able to palpate is a vastus medialis muscle we will mark the vastus medialis muscle and then we will mark our skin incision so our skin incision is a 10 to 15 cm long longitudinal incision on the anteromedial aspect of the thigh so we will palpate the medial pole of the patella from the medial pole of the patella we will directly mark upwards a 10 to 15 cm long line uh, or a longitudinal line that is our skin incision so during when we mark the skin incision we should we should know that we are going to go into a plane between rectus femoris and vastus medialis so that we will be able to modify our skin incision based on the patient is fat or thin so once we take the skin incision we will be able to expose the subcute so during uh, when we uh, expose the subcute we will have a fascia lata fascia lata we will be cutting in line with the skin incision so at this point we usually have a fear about the great saphenous vein that may ke- come in our way but usually the great saphenous vein will lie way posterior to our approach that will usually not come in uh, on the way to our approach so it is not a worrisome structure that we may injure in this approach so then uh, just to understand the anatomy basic anatomy the muscle that we are seeing here this is muscle is a sartorius muscle so after we cut the deep fascia we have these structures in front of us just to have a basic uh, anatomical knowledge so this is a sartorius muscle and this muscle is a rectus femoris muscle this muscle is a vastus medialis muscle now we have to identify all the three muscles sartorius vastus medialis and rectus femoris once we identify then we identify try to get the interval between the vastus medialis and the rectus femoris muscle so once we identify the interval interval we will retract the rectus femoris muscle on the lateral side so when we will retract the vastus uh, rectus femoris on the lateral side then we, we are standing on the medial side so now we are having a view from the medial side we have retracted the rectus femoris so just below the rectus femoris that is just posterior to the rectus femoris is a rectus intermedius muscle so we will be uh, retracting both the rectus femoris and intermedius on the lateral side and the vastus medialis uh, on the medial side so at this point we usually have a fear about the main vascular structures that is the femoral vessels uh, that they may come into our way or we may injure these structures so these structures will usually lie behind the septum behind the medial intramuscular septum so these from our approach there is a vastus medialis muscle then there is a septum and then these vessels so our approach is between the rectus femoris and the vastus medialis so we will always be keep ourselves anterior to the vastus medialis so that we will be not be going towards the vessels so again these structures are not very some structures in our approach we will uh, not injure these structures so once we retract these structures we will expose uh, the capsule so in this uh, picture this is a rectus femoris this is a rectus intermedius muscle and uh, this structure that we are able to see is a capsule so once we expose the capsule so we have to identify here some very important structure that is a medial superior genicular artery so that will uh, come from the behind that will bifurcate and that will lie over the capsule so before incising the capsule we need to identify and coagulate this artery that is medial superior genicular artery if we, we are not able to coagulate it may bleed profusely and our surgical time may increase so identify and coagulate this artery so uh, once we coagulate the artery then we will uh, open the capsule in line with the skin incision so this is uh, we are opening the capsule so once we open the capsule in line with the skin incision this is how uh, we will be able to expose entire uh, two third length of the femur 
uh, in this way we can go proximally and uh, splitting the quadriceps tendon so this was our approach about uh, the medial two third of the distal femur so thank you guys thank you very much for more such videos please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you